Hop day, everybody, and welcome to KUM News Extra. I'm Jason Silas. We have a huge show for you tonight because we will be talking to the national founder of the Make-A-Wish Foundation on 25 years for the Guam chapter and what they do, the, all the wonderful work they do for kids. Also, we are going to find out about a video debut from Ma Agaganihau, a very special project which we want to tell you about. But this coming weekend, the members of the Edward M. Cavill Cancer Foundation are hosting the very first Guam is Good Cancer Symposium, a community event which brings about information and all sorts of things that you can use to educate yourself on cancer and services that are available for you on Guam. The foundation's treasurer is Miss Natalie Cavill, the very lovely Natalie Cavill, and she joins me now to talk about the event. Hi, Natalie. Hi. Half a day. Half a day. Thanks for having me. Okay, so for people uh, that don't know, we'd like to get up to speed. Um, what is the Guam is Good Symposium, and what brought it about? Well, through our work, uh, through the foundation, we found we've been able to identify some needs, and a lot of uh, what our clients have been asking for support services, you know, support groups. Um, and so now we're able to provide it, and that's what this weekend is about. We're going to, um, we're going to have a keynote speaker, Dr. Brad Zebrak, and he's from the University of Michigan School of Social Work. And he is also um, very involved in developing peer groups, and he's really uh, a social worker. He's a social worker for adolescent and young cancer patients. And so he's going to come, he's going to speak, and then he's going, then we're going to have breakout groups. Mm -hmm. so. And how many breakout groups are we looking at? Because I know, like we talked with Marie Calvelman, who is the foundation's president right now, and she mm -hmm. said, obviously it spans so many different topics, but uh, how many breakout groups are we looking at maybe at the same time? We're, have, we're going to have three rooms going at one time and three different sessions. So we'll have nine different sessions to choose from. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the topics that we're going to have, and I'm going to read it so I don't... Uh, we're going to have uh, stress management for patients, but we're also trying to provide some services for the caregivers too. So we'll have a, uh, a separate session on uh, stress management for caregivers. Um, we're going to have some, we're going to be able to address some legal issues with a, pan with a group of panelists, some uh, lawyers that are going to address navigating through cancer related issues. We're going to have some um, sessions on uh, Stress, uh, wait, stress management, I told you already, um, physical therapy. So Linda Frank will be uh, taking care of one session that is tools to rejuvenate mind, body, and soul. And we also have one session for turning grief into compassion. Oh, so more of like a psychological thing. And that, that sounds like it, it might also be beneficial to uh, the spouses or the children of you know, people suffering from cancer, as well as for the patients themselves. Oh yes, absolutely. This uh, symposium is open to cancer patients, caregivers, any loved ones affected by cancer um, to providers, it's, it's open to everyone. Mm -hmm. How has the enrollment been so far? Because we'll talk about registration you know, later on, but you know, like what, what have you seen as far as the feedback and response from the community? Oh, it's been great. I mean, when we receive the registrations, it comes with so much thanks for providing this because there is a real need for it, you know, for all of the, for the caregivers to address the cancer patients' needs, the caregivers' needs. The legal issues, I think, will be a very interesting topic that I, I know everyone will be able to benefit yeah. from. So is this legal in, in, in terms of, like, legally, you know, these are what uh, How services? to advocate. How to advocate for okay. the patient. Um, you know, you probably would get an opportunity to ask about powers of power of attorney, mm -hmm. you know, s stuff like that. Setting up maybe like a last will, but you know, yes, like exactly. Definitely things you have which to is consider. important to everyone, exactly. not just cancer patients. So, yeah, so. precisely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, speaking of registration, um, how can one register for the event if they're going to attend, like maybe as a group or you know, like as a student group, a church group, you know, maybe mm -hmm. as a family? And, and are there any seats left? Oh, there are. There are seats left, and I know that uh, the sooner that people register, we are capping it at 150. However, if we get a great response, then we'll. If we, and we know soon, we'll be able to accommodate. So I would encourage everyone to register as soon as possible, and they can do so by going to www.guamisgood.org. Or they can call the office at 472-6854. We can fax them the registration form or, you know, mm -hmm. get it to them somehow. All right. Now, mm -hmm. of course, we've talked over the years since the Edward M. Cavill Cancer Foundation was formed, mm -hmm. um, named, of course, in honor of your late father-in-law. Yeah. Um, with the members of your family, uh, with your in-laws and you know the people you've become very close to as well as your own children and everything How has the work that you guys have done to continue? Um, to honor him and what does it mean to you? And you know, what have you seen as as the foundation's grown and continues to do more things for the community? It's been nine years hmm. now next month will be nine years and we've been able to give over a million dollars in financial 
grants to people in our to cancer patients in the community and it has been probably some of the most gratifying work I have ever and I know I can sp probably speak for everyone in our family have I, I've ever done mm -hmm. you know it's we work we come together as a, a family as a team and we've been putting on a bunch of uh, fundraisers through support of in the community through the businesses and and people in the community and it's just been fantastic well several of us at KUM well, will absolutely. also be volunteering at the event so thank you for having Always. us as well. you guys yeah. are fantastic well thank you for letting <laughs> us contribute because you know we were very close to mr. Calvo and we we dearly miss him okay so uh, there is information on your Facebook page which is facebook.com slash EMC cancer EMC foundation cancer foundation yeah. yeah okay so Natalie thanks so much and we'll see uh, you thanks too all right and stay tuned because we will be right back right after